Use of topical anesthesia with the Shangri male circumcision device, a randomized clinical trial in Kenya. Voluntary medical male circumcision has been shown to reduce HIV incidence in men by 50 to 60 percent in randomized clinical trials in Africa. Male circumcision also reduces the incidence of other sexually transmitted infections, cervical and penile cancers, in addition to having the immediate benefit of reducing urinary tract infections, phimosis, and balanitis in younger individuals. Given these data, the WHO and UNAIDS have recommended the inclusion of voluntary medical male circumcision as part of their HIV prevention strategies. As a result, 14 Sub-Saharan African countries have begun the scale-up of male circumcision services in 2011. However, less than half of the goal of circumcision procedures has been achieved by the year 2016. This was found to be due to the inherent challenges in resource-poor settings, such as the lack of medical resources and trained healthcare providers to perform conventional surgical male circumcision procedures. This has led the WHO and UNAIDS to set forth two fast-track targets to achieve 27 million circumcisions by the year 2021 with emphasis on younger age groups ranging from 10 to 29 years of age. Device-assisted male circumcision has been proposed as the tool to achieve this target. The Shang Ring is a single-use disposable male circumcision device that consists of two plastic interlocking concentric rings a silicon padded inner ring and an outer ring. Since 2006, the Shang Ring has been safely used to circumcise over 1.6 million men and boys worldwide. And in addition to its WHO pre-qualification, the device is FDA approved and has also acquired the European Conformity CE mark back in 2010. Shang Ring male circumcision can be performed with either the original flip technique or the new and innovative no flip technique using topical or injectable anesthesia. The Shangreen can facilitate safe task shifting from physicians to non-physician healthcare providers due to the simplicity of the procedure. The WHO had reviewed Shangreen data from numerous studies and evaluated its safety and acceptability, where it was found that the device is safe and effective in over 99% of patients with no serious complications. Men and boys ranging from 10 to 54 years of age were enrolled in a randomized clinical trial at two study sites in Kenya. Study participants were randomized in 2 to 1 fashion to topical anesthesia using 2.5% lidocaine plus 2.5% prilocaine cream versus injectable anesthesia using 1% lidocaine. All participants underwent male circumcision using the no-flip shangling technique, which first involves inserting the inner plastic ring under the foreskin, which can be facilitated by a dorsal slit in case of foreskin conditions such as phimosis. The outer ring is then securely clamped onto the inner ring from outside of the foreskin to provide hemostatic occlusion. The foreskin now distilled to the device is excised. Data on pain scores using the visual analog pain scale, adverse events, operative time, and time to complete wound healing were collected and compared between the two study groups. A total of 344 participants were enrolled, of which 226 were allocated to topical anesthesia and 118 to injectable anesthesia. All participants were successfully circumcised with a no-flip shangling technique without any report of an intra-op adverse event or complication. Pain scores during application of anesthesia and 20 minutes post-operatively were significantly lower with topical anesthesia, while pain scores during the procedure were similar among both groups. Operative time and rates of complete wound healing reported on the last follow-up visit, 42 days post-circumcision, were comparable between the two groups. Off note, 21 participants from the topical anesthesia group had inadequate anesthetic cream application, where they were excluded from pain score analysis. Supplemental injectable anesthesia was provided for 6 participants in the topical group and 2 in the injectable group at some point during the procedure when the participant complained of pain. Dwell time of the topical anesthetic was significantly longer than the time required for the injectable anesthetic to take effect. However, dwell time was not an accurate reflection of the time it took for the anesthetic cream to take full effect, but rather was primarily a function of provider availability. Having said that, we recommend that the anesthetic cream is applied at least 30 minutes prior to the procedure to allow it to take full effect. 
and more importantly, the healthcare provider should take caution to ensure proper application of the topical anesthetic, which should involve the entire shaft of the penis along with the inner aspect of the foreskin by using a dolphin tip applicator when needed. Finally, topical anesthesia was shown to be safe and efficacious with no flip shangring circumcision, providing significantly better pre- and post-op pain control than injectable anesthesia without affecting operative time or rates of wound healing. Topical anesthesia may further simplify the shangring circumcision and broaden its appeal. This would increase recruitment of patients and further the goal of increasing the rate of male circumcision in Sub-Saharan Africa.